Oh my god, that Mike Black, like, wasn't he amazing? Yeah. That's why I put him up first to get you guys nice and toasty. Mike Black, actually I like Mike Black. Mike Black is a great dad. Every time I see Mike, every time I see Mike, he's always talking about his daughter. He always runs his jokes by his little girl before he comes on stage. <laughs> I mean, for real. Don't you think? I would love to have him as a dad, let me tell you. Um, next on stage is uh, one of the, the sweetest, nicest little girls from Oklahoma. Did I say that right, princess? Oh, yeah. no, she's pretty, too. You guys, you guys will enjoy her. Anna Pope! in DC. It's like, what is their expertise? Like, Flip Cup or YouTube or Farmville on Facebook? I can grow more crops than you. What up? Um, it's very interesting because, um, like, my, my first job out of college, I was a consultant, a political consultant for the uh, Republican Party in 2006. <laughs> Well, that was the year we lost both the House and the Senate, so your boos were qualified. Um, but, you know, we lost both the House and the Senate, so really you get what you pay for. Um, my uh, first job out of college was really cool, though, except I had this crazy coworker who was really mean to me, and she always bought the same clothes as me. And then one day I came in and brought a dress to have altered and left it in my cubicle, and she took it and wore it out that night. So I know what you're thinking, single white female, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. So I stabbed her with a screwdriver. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm a girl, I don't have any tools. Um, but you know, just a lack of you know, respect for my personal property, right? You know, just disrespectful. So I hacked into her iTunes account and I found that she had a playlist devoted to one of our coworkers. And it had all these crazy stalker songs, like, I will follow him, and um, one way or another, I'm going to find you, I'm going to getcha, 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 getcha. <laughs> and Santa Claus is coming to town. She sees you when you're sleeping. She knows when you're awake. So I told Bob about it, and now they're engaged. <laughs> so I'm originally from Oklahoma. And yeah, wow, really? <laughs> And dating in D.C. is very different. Um, back home, you go out to the rodeo, you put out in the bed of a pickup truck, and you call it a night. <laughs> in D.C., there's all this foreplay, like dinner and conversation. It's such a waste of time. Um, and uh, the guys in D.C. are very different, too. Like, I went out with a nuclear scientist who didn't understand Simpsons references. I feel like Homer Simpson and Mr. Burns are your spokespeople, so maybe you should learn your industry. Um, I went out with a baron who didn't own a cape, and he didn't eat pizza. Very misleading. And then I went out on a, th a first date with a guy who took me to the melting pot in Annapolis with 15 of his friends from college <laughs> and his parents <laughs> on a first date. Uh, during dinner, he asked if he could touch me, which if you have to ask, the answer is pretty obvious. <laughs> but I needed a ride home, so you know. <laughs> um, do you guys remember your grade school crushes? Like, my first crush was uh, Tramp from Lady and the Tramp, <laughs> the promiscuous cartoon dog. Um, and then I moved on to Peter Pan, and I pretended to be Wendy and used my Flintstone phone to call in death threats to the Indian princess. <laughs> so I have some weird quirks when it comes to dating, as it can, you know, my, my childhood could explain. Um, so... Um, one of the, uh, like, I would try on a guy's last name just to, you know, see if it fits. My ex-boyfriend's last name is Maniscalco, so my name would have been Anna Maniscalco, which is not a name. It's a nursery rhyme. And you have to think of the kids, too, because I don't want my kids 
being teased because my, my husband has a dumb last name. My last name is Pope, so the kids would call me Anna Poop um, until I told them that the, that the Pope is the Catholic patriarch and that, um, you know, that they were all going to go to hell. <laughs> um, but, they, you know, like that really taught those six-year-olds a lesson because I'm an excellent babysitter. <laughs> And I used to think I was really shallow about the guys I was dating, but it turns out that I'm, or I used to think I was really picky about the guys I was dating, but it turns out I'm actually just really shallow. Um, I broke up with one guy because he had blonde eyelashes, another guy because he was too short, the last guy because he had a mustache, and a, a rapist mustache, and a cat. <laughs> now, to be fair, he could shave off the mustache, but a single guy with a cat, come on, ladies. <laughs> and if you're a single guy with a cat, Please don't come up to me after the show and try to justify yourself, because that happens every single time. <laughs> because your choice of pet says a lot about you, and your choice is calling you a pussy. Uh. <laughs>